Hello guys, we are at Publix. This is my buddy Walter here. Hello. And we are going to try a challenge that we've never done before. We are doing the, what, you name it. The, I don't know, the, what? the $15 Publix dinner challenge. Publix dinner, $15. We have to make an entree, a dessert, uh, we have to make an entree, a dessert, a meal, and a, well, we don't have to make a side, but I think that would be pretty nice. So, um, yeah, we will see you at home when we have uh, all the ingredients. Okay, so we finished shopping for our groceries, and I'll let um, the other team talk to you. All right. You can't really see us, but um, <laughs> so, oh, okay, that works. Okay, so hi, we are the best team, and we are um, excited to um, present our dish. We um, just went to the budget, and like the tax like pushed us over, but that's okay, because that's part of the challenge. Yep. So we have to present a meal, um, a drink. dessert, and a drink for four people. Um, yeah, we're pretty pumped. We got it all figured out. It's looking good. And we're ready for the presentation. It's gonna look beautiful. <laughs> and yeah, very confident that we will get this dub. Easy. Back to you, John John. All right. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you at the house. We're gonna start cooking. Hi, we're back at Jonathan Dry's house. Um, <laughs> we made our um, dish. Tacos. We created so, tacos. Yes, we put a creamy, a creamy, a creamy guacamole, um, and then we grilled the quesadillas in butter. Then I made the chicken with the seasoning. We did beans, um, cheese, guacamole again, and some cilantro, and then a slice of lime to finish it. Um, and then for our drink, we did a. We thought. Like for Mexican, guava. yeah, for Mexican culture is really <laughs> tropical, you know, fruity. So we did a guava concentrate um, with like creamy, um, sweet, um, um, jet, jet sweet puff <laughs> cream in the middle, yeah. <laughs> and then we like watered it down because we don't want like, too much sugar. So yeah, that's our dish and our drink. We plated it with guacamole, lining the um, edges of the platter. Um, yeah, that's our, that's our dish. <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna, no, 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 It's like the competition is a little insecure here. <laughs> Look at this. I just want to point this out. They no, still no, have, no. They still have the tag on one of their lines. Right here. <laughs> no, like trying to be right. don't ruin our. It makes a like fresh statement that it's newly bought. <laughs> Okay, so back on Jonathan tries, we made a shrimp scampi with uh, rigatoni pasta and some fresh shrimps. And on the the left side of the plate, we decided to divide ours in half to the um, to show the divided roadway to make sure you be safe on the road, <laughs> don't cross the double yellow lines, and. Um, this side we have a raspberry, kiwi, and pomegranate fruit dessert. So yeah, we're gonna try it out. Oh, and our beverage is that time of year, Sprite Cranberry. Zero sugar. Yeah. You hear me? Randomly telling. Oh, yeah. Okay, now go. When we were at the store, we actually ran into a guy when we were buying the shrimp, and he told us about the ingredients and the scampi sauce. And he it turns out he was an actual chef 
who was helping us out. Mm. So I don't know if that's cheating or not, but yeah. It's not because he asked them, mm. okay? Mm -hmm. When scampi are a small crustacean that are found in Italy, um, and when the recipe came came over to the states, people just continue to call it shrimp scampi, but uh, just utilize shrimp because they didn't have scampi. So. Oh, okay. Fun fact. Fun fact. Wow, we're not just getting fed with food; we're getting fed with culture and knowledge. Wow. Who's serving it up now? <laughs> or was it fresh? And fresh shrimp. It had been previously frozen, but it was fresh. Yeah, it was, it was fresh. In the public market, it was fresh. Oh, yeah, okay. they didn't buy a bag of frozen shrimp. Okay. They actually went to the, the counter. And, and got and got it. Okay. Yeah. Our food's um, not fresh. We actually cooked it up right there. <laughs> <laughs> so so um we we talked about how um uh how difficult it is um if if you overcook shrimp they get really tough and chewy. Yeah. Um uh ground chicken is is a little more forgiving. Um, but the um, toasting of the uh, tortillas? the tortillas that's that's technically that's kind of challenging isn't it yeah yeah okay <laughs> um, uh, and we we talked for quite a while on technical skill and we call this one a dead tie no advantage I, I thought both both uh, recipes um, had showed technical skill that was we, we couldn't give an edge to either. So, good job. <clears throat> Alright, um, I'll discuss how the judges talked about creativity. In this category, uh, the boys came away with a slight edge in terms of creativity because many of us had not seen, uh, uh, did not expect the shrimp scampi dish first of all, and nor did we expect it to be paired with the fruit in the way, uh, I don't think any of us had had fruit in that combination before, the combination of pomegranate, kiwi, and the uh, raspberries, was it? So that was a kind of a pleasant surprise. Uh, the tacos were delicious, they were fantastic, but uh, we felt like we had had something like that uh, before, and so we gave that creative score the boys. Finally, taste. I am in charge of talking about the taste and while we enjoyed both delicious meals, the girls came away with the taste because those were some good tacos <laughs> and we all decided that we would want to eat more of those if we could. We have so. extras. Oh, nice. <laughs> we, we might bust those out and, uh, and eat more of them. So, the girls won on taste. So that makes the final. So the overall, um, the winner of, uh, I don't know if this is Iron Chef or what, what you would it's call this. It's just the Jonathan Tries Cup. The Jonathan <laughs> Tries because Cup. Because we're probably going to do some yeah. other, like, I want to do this again, but there should be specifications. We'll, we'll call we'll call it round one of the Jonathan Tries Cup goes to the boys team. But just by yeah. hair. Wait, wait, wait. What's this for? Our surprise. Do we get to eat this? Yeah, you get to mm. oh, eat it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you.